six butch builders are going to swap their hard hats for high heels. In just one week, they will try and become drag queens. They will see things they have never seen before. It's like a freak show. Blokes doing that. Do things they have never done before. I honestly thought that you were gay. As far as if I was in the wrong for not being gay. Always want to do this. <laughs> and in a nerve-wracking finale, perform in front of 2,000 people. Oh, this ain't going to be easy. To me, it was like going back to the beginning and starting all over again, really. Can these six tough guys become six drag queens for one night only? on playground where anything goes and home to this man Simon Green otherwise known as Betty Legs Diamond a drag queen legend and star of Funny Girls Britain's boldest transvestite review Simon is about to take on his biggest challenge ever to audition train and turn a group of rough builders into full-on drag queens I want to do it because I fancy builders. Not. I want to do it because, you know, it's going to be, it's, I like a challenge. And I guarantee if I can get them through, drag them through this week and get them to perform, they're going to get that instantaneous buzz and hopefully you're going to see the result of them coming up. Yeah! We did it! Darling. Audition day at a building site in Western Supermare. Waiting for Simon, a bunch of builders who have binned their butch side to try and pass his drag queen challenge. I'm oh, very confident. I think uh, my feminine side will come through and I'm bound to get through. I've never met a drag queen before. <laughs> I think they're going to expect somebody in drag, I think, to come down or maybe a big puff. Well, they got that. <laughs> We're blokes, blokes, and this is obviously... Uh well in touch with his feminine side. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> the people Andy hires these days is unbelievable. <laughs> Hello, boys. Hi, 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 you you all right? Yeah. yeah. Now it's the village people. <laughs> <laughs> so you're all up for it, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? yeah. A lot of hard work and a lot of fun. Yeah? Yep. Lots of bubble baths and girly giggles. <laughs> <laughs> we did walk very camp, you know, but, you know, I suppose that's the way they go. We're obviously blokes, blokey blokes. We you know what team we bat for. <laughs> bit on the camp side, but we're all different. Yeah, back to the ball, lads. <laughs> I want six individual guys, characters. Obviously, I want someone a bit bright and bubbly if they're going to put on a frock. So I can then build on that to produce a, a, a great routine, hopefully. One, two, three, four. Dig and right, left, up, right, left. And one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, five, six, and up. And cross over, turn. You've done this before. <laughs> The natural. I can mince. <laughs> Up, down. Okay. Then rubbish. One, two, three. Oh my God! What have I done? Four right hand. Right. After being put through their paces, Simon's ready to tell the builders who's in and who's coming out. Okay, boys. Thank you very much for your audition. I wish I could take you all, but I can't. I'm going to take six with me to Blackpool. So, if I tap you on the shoulder, please step forward. Nice start. OK, front line. Thank you very much, but I can't, sorry I can't take you. All right, so thank you. Would you like to leave? Gusses. 
Oh, I just got help when they get up there, Lloyd. Congratulations, you're all going to Blackpool. Yo! These successful six will only have seven days to become gorgeous drag queen divas. <laughs> Drag queen world is totally opposite to what to what we are really. Totally. He won't react very well to being around gay people at all. I've met builders before. I've had work done on my house, for instance, and I've met builders, and some of them are pretty aggressive towards you. His attitude, as long as they keep themselves to themselves and don't get involved with him, then he's fine. As far as I know, I don't know any any gays. Um, I don't know. <coughs> Anybody like that, I just don't associate myself with people like that. I've got absolutely no idea what I'm letting myself in for, really. I really don't know how they're going to react to this environment. It's, you know, really over the top. Some are really camp. Quite a macho sort of bloke. Never dress up as a woman. He loves dressing up in women's clothes. He's got the whole build, very fit in the right places, and Although he, you know, he is male with with the right um, makeup and the hairstyle, he does come across very feminine. I'm just worried about if he's ever going to come back. Other than pole dancing, we can't think of anything worse than uh, being drag queens. He's definitely got a zest for life. He's very adventurous, and work-wise, he's always up for a challenge. I mean, if there's a job that no one else will do, Mark will come in and probably see and get it done. I mean, at the end of the day, there's a lot of people who are so conscious about how they look and what they perceive other people as seeing them, that in actual fact they blend into the background and nobody sees them. I'm up for it, you know. I've got nothing to lose anyway, apart from my self-respect and anything else that goes with that. I don't think he has got a clue, actually, of how big it's going to... how big the challenge is. Not sure how I'm going to get on with the women's clothing. I mean, I do struggle to get it off of other women, you know, let alone put it on myself. Most builders, I suppose, are not very tolerant of the feminine side. Loads of testosterone flying around, so they're not going to bring out anything feminine, are they, at the building site? Stood there all. My friends and family can't believe what I'm doing. I'm normally quite reserved and sort of shy. I just can't wait to see him dancing as a woman with nails and things like that. I just think it's something that I'll probably never forget and may even have nightmares about it for a long time. With Kim, as well as my mates, I think their negative attitude towards me, like doing it or completing it, is urging me on. Drag queen. Oh, my God. Of all the things in all the world, if I could have chose not to be, that would have been it. Day to day at work, he looks like the roughest man that you'll probably ever bump into. He's a real man's man. I'm not really looking forward to putting a dress on and the makeup and all that sort of thing, really. That is a bit. Ugh, I don't know. They're going to have to probably have facials, they've got to get rid of the weather beaten skin. They, they've got to be very hairy, so you're going to have to clipper them back, a bit like a topiary on a, on a bloke. It's the last day on site. The week ahead will be poles apart from the day job. Building. It's filthy. Dirty. You come home in the dark, you go to work in the dark. It can't be a wimp, that's for sure. It's a man's world. Drag queens and builders. Doesn't seem to mix, really, does it? Blackpool. The drag queen challenge begins. Within hours of arriving, the builders go to Funny Girls to see what they will have to do on stage in seven days' time. The biggest thing to hit Blackpool since the tower. They haven't seen us yet. <laughs> None of the builders have ever seen a drag queen dressed up in the flesh before. So the bar staff come as quite a shock. Blown away, man. I, I've never seen anything like it. It's like a freak show. It's jaw dropping. You're like, whoa. <laughs> it's outrageous. <laughs> Blokes doing that. I just can't comprehend it. No. 
Actually, I'll tell you, some of them, you've really got to look. You wouldn't want to be drunk here, I'll tell you. You could really get into serious problems in this place. Well, I honestly thought that you were gay. Yeah, that's the same person. Why? Why did you think I was gay? The way you look at it, He wouldn't accept that I was straight, which was... It was very frustrating. If you've never had an experience with a man, how would you know that you're not gay? Because... I just thought it felt as if I was in the wrong for not being gay. Showtime, and the lads finally get to see their first ever drag queen show. With Simon center stage. I'm gobsmacked, I don't know what to say. We're not going to do what they can do, that's for sure, because we just can't move like that. I'm a bit worried about next Saturday. I'm going to look a right clown. <laughs> We've got to do that? I don't think so. No chance. Absolutely no chance. Coming up, Drag Queen Boot Camp kicks off. Because you've got to keep the concentration level up and not go out and get pissed every night. And the lads hit a gay bar. I'm dying for a pee. I'm about to go outside. I'm not going to the toilet. I went to the toilet three times. I had my ass grabbed. <laughs> the first day of rehearsals at Funny Girls, the venue where our builders will be on stage in just seven days. Straight off, Simon starts teaching the basics of tap dancing, the hardest part of the show. The first day is basically seeing what I can get away with, see how how, they, how, they, how capable they are of learning something uh, technical or tricky. Then I can start to choreograph it in my mind or re-choreograph it into just standing there. It's a lot harder yeah. than I thought it was going yeah. to be. Good. Again. Very hard on the calves and the feet. Oh, my feet are killing me and we're only halfway through the first day. One, two, three, four. You're going to walk round. Five. Simon must six, also teach the builders seven, to move gracefully. Eight, the builders' one, butch two, building three, site background four, has to five, go. Six, seven, eight. Good. You lifted your shoulder a bit too high. <clears throat> yeah. What, when you walked, you walked, went. <laughs> <laughs> it is quite hard. Um, obviously, it's something you've never ever done before in your life, but. Um, I'm not going to get any apprehensions or get scared about it yet. Um, maybe come next Wednesday, if we're still in the same position as we are now, <laughs> start bricking it a bit. <laughs> You're a lady. One, two... Simon three, looks really good. He's just... He does look like he's floating on air. Makes us look like a bunch of builders, really. <laughs> you don't go slow, slow, step, hop, step, when you're carrying a bucket of muck. The next step is in high heels, a scary prospect that puts the wind up Dave. <laughs> Feels horrible wearing these shoes, I have to say. Don't like it. <laughs> don't like it. Head up and don't concentrate on your feet. Head up. Stomach here. That's it. A little bit more feminine, boys. Ladies tend to use the hips more. <laughs> the shoes are shocking. <laughs> You're trying to overcompensate by leaning back. You say push you forward, and the weight's all wrong. Day two. The builders need to start nailing down their feminine side. Simon has packed them off to see deportment teacher Katie Froud. Her mission to make them walk more confidently in heels. I do not want to find you looking at the floor. She usually works with catwalk models, not burly builders. The little steps help. My feet are killing me, man. I, I, 
I don't know how women could go around wearing these all night. Fair play to them. Put your feet together. Hold, hold your hands. No, you put your hand on your oh, hip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm really struggling with this feminine bit, trying to be feminine, um, especially wearing something like these. And... Keep your head up. Look at me. That's it. I think if I can concentrate on the steps and exercises, I think once I've mastered that side of it, I can then concentrate on perhaps being a little bit more feminine. I don't know if I really want to do that, though. <laughs> I've got to be honest. If you slouch... The whole world will see you looking like a sack of potatoes, as opposed to looking like the beautiful divas that you're going to end up looking, OK? So I think that so each one of them has the potential to be a successful uh, drag queen act on the night. I think they're all going to surprise themselves, actually. Um, I don't think any of them really realised that they were the sort of blokes that had it in them. <laughs> After a hard day in heels, the builders should be putting their feet up, but the lure of a night out proves too much. And in another first, they decide to broaden their horizons by hitting a gay bar. The atmosphere is friendly. They're all fun-loving. There was a couple of guys snogging, which is a bit... I'll just turn me back on that and ignore it, just sort of get on with things and, yeah, but it's all right. All together now. Hideous. Yeah, I feel really, really uncomfortable. There's, um, there's gays everywhere, there's lesbians, there's homos, you know, uh, hideous place. I've never seen anything like it in my life. I don't feel comfortable at all. I'm dying for a pee and I had to go outside. I'm not going to the toilets. I think we're only going to have one point here. I think we want to make a sharp exit. Coming to a place like this, you know for a fact that they're, well, 90%, they're, they're, they're gay. They're all gay, most of them. And oh, I just, I'm gobsmacked. I don't, I don't know where to look. I don't know what to do. I just, I just want to get out. <laughs> Three times I my ass grab and some bloke right, accidentally right. fell into me. Give it one of those. Like, I'll have him. There's no way. I'll just stay in there. I'll end it. It's it insane. Yeah. No that chance. was scary. Whoa. Three times I come out of the toilet. You're shaking, I am. It's their environment, isn't you? That's what it's like in their environment. I know it's not. We never. That's what it's like in there. That's their stuff. That's what we're doing. We do. Tell you what. <laughs> the day after the night before. Shuffle, up step, step. Simon step, has got shuffle, the builders up Blackpool step, Tower step, to clear their step, heads shuffle, and to practice step, their tap dancing. Shuffle, step, 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 shuffle, up step, shuffle, up step, step, step. That's nearly it. That's not good, good shuffles, actually. Dave! Spin it out. If you can't stand on here, you never get in front of an audience. <laughs> it's mind <laughs> over matter. God, I'm Just don't look down. Five, six, seven. Shuffle. Up, step, step, step. Shuffle. Up, step, step. It's moved a bit. Are you all right? No, I'm not. Right. I feel terrible. <laughs> we had far too much drink last night. At least 10, maybe 11 pints. Uh, I felt ill. I thought I was going to faint. It's terrible. I Spit it out. Terrible. Higher up the tower, it's time to practice performance technique. OK, and... The builders must get over any shyness in, and find the diva within. <laughs> ah, no, we don't do that on stage. <laughs> right, you want to... Oh, you've done that before. That's good. <laughs> Try and loosen your shoulders. Yeah, that's right. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Um, here we go. <laughs> Okay. Right, Tinkerbell. <laughs> Good. Excellent. I was looking at getting the laugh, and it, 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 you felt a bit stupid. I actually learnt a lot from that, from what you did. So now I can incorporate that into the routine. No so, hopefully. <laughs> so I think we're just going to walk on and off stage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and one, two, three, 
four, Back at Funny five, Girls, six, the builders have seven, new steps to eight. learn. All it is is behind, step, step. Behind, but their hangovers step. are proving a headache for Simon. This sort of thing takes weeks and weeks to perfect and learn. But you've got to keep the concentration level up and not go out and get pissed every night, all right? <laughs> so you've got to think of getting some rest at night. You've got to rest your brains as well as your bodies, OK? Because if you're not clued on during the day, you'll start falling behind. Then you're going to drag the whole group behind. I really want to do this. Yeah. Pull it off. You will. You will, yeah. mate. Brilliant. Yeah. We right can't then. go out on a piss again, I don't no. think. Last They're woolly and tired today. I won't allow it for the rest of the week. They've got to knuckle down now. From now on, it's teamwork. And they've got to produce uh, a number by the end of the week for a paying audience. So I think, I think they realise that. Simon piles on the pressure. Stamp, the moves clap, are getting stamp, more clap, complicated. Stamp, clap, clap. Yeah, okay. So say it as you do it. So you go stamp, clap, stamp, clap, stamp, clap, clap. Five, six, seven, and stamp, 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 stamp. stamp. Oh. <laughs> we got to do this in high heels and look like a woman. Yep. They're not that high you look like a woman. You haven't got to worry about that. I am oh yeah, quite worried. I think I'm lagging behind at the moment. What you do is step, step. Legs eight, step, feet eight. Five, six, seven, Everything. eight. Not on the left, right, isn't it? Step, clap, step, clap, step, clap. Step. It's like Mark struggling. To be honest, he doesn't seem to have any rhythm at all. <laughs> Bless him, but um, you know he's really, really wants to do this, and he's really trying, giving it all. Seven, eight. And again, you've got to concentrate a lot because there's a lot to take in. If you don't take it in, you mess it all up. So you've got to concentrate. I'll be going back to the hotel tonight and uh, definitely practicing. I need it. Do you Definitely don't want to be the, um, the worst one. All the lads at the moment are doing a cracking job and I don't want to let, be letting them down. Boys, calm it down. Sorry. <laughs> My doubts at the moment are Mark and Lee. Lee's got a, a little bit of problem with rhythm and Mark with coordination at the moment. Perfect. And he's doing really well. Um, and that's about it, really. The rest of us are crap. <laughs> The builders are halfway through their drag queen crash course. After a quiet night in, they're up early to run through their routine without Simon. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're well I'll tell you what, we're doing really well. I know we've made a few. Well, it's really good. There's definitely a sense of optimism this morning. We're really, really <clears throat> excited and enthusiastic. Yeah, it's great. Back on stage, the builders have been given the music they'll be dancing to on Saturday night. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> and again. <laughs> you know, now you're working with the music, we need to keep going as we're doing over and over and over and over and over and over. Yeah. So you go, it becomes second nature in the end. All right, that's what we're doing now, OK? This morning, we thought we had it all sussed, and then we got here and Simon's put the music on, and obviously it's like loads faster, which obviously makes it ten times harder, which is like, it, to me, it was like going back to, back to the beginning and starting all over again, really, which is very frustrating, cos, like I said, we thought we had it, you know, in the bag, so to speak. You just don't learn it overnight. You've got to rehearse and rehearse. You've got to perfect it. You've got to iron out the creases and, you know, snip away at it until it's in your head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Step, 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 step. Behind. One. If you're not on the beat, two, it's going to seem foreign, and then the mind goes mashed and you forget everything. And that's what's happening at the moment, and they're panicking a little bit. The clock is ticking, and, you know, one of the lads just said, maybe we can come in at 8 o'clock tomorrow. We could probably do an eight-hour shift every day from now until Saturday. That's what we feel like we need. Coming up, the builders are in pain. Oh. Lots of respect to the women for doing this, you know. And in trouble. You weren't really with it, were you? I need to have you strong in that second section. <laughs> it's
It's only three days until the builders will be performing as drag queens. And at last, the lads have finally been given tap shoes. How are your feet? All right. Killing you. That's show business. Five, six, seven, and... It's like cutlery in the sink. Like... I think they thought they put the tap shoes on this. Suddenly, this like Dorothy shoes on. You have these magical powers. You can tap dance. It's nothing to do with that. The effort you put into your feet is what's going to come out. There's no magic spell with those shoes. So they just have to rehearse and rehearse and rehearse in the shoes now. And it's going to kill their feet, actually. They're going to be moaning at the end of the day. But that's put up with. Tap shoes are killing me. You constantly seem to be on your toes. And, you know, when you're 13 and a half stone, all the weight is basically going to the balls of your feet. And trying to dance around it, you know, like that as well. And, yeah, my feet hurt a lot. Face, life, love, is sometimes sweet and sometimes bitter. Face, life with a too far forward. Start again. <laughs> the builder's pain means no gain, and the lack of progress is getting to Simon. It's frustrating in a way. But, you know, that's something I've got to deal with, you know. They're not dancers, they're not professional dancers, they're not trained anyway. So it is a case of being repetitious and monotonous and going over and over and over. Right. Two, three, four. Cross, down, cross, up. Yeah. Again. But I think Lee is the one that's... Um, a, a, he's not very coordinated, so it is very frustrating. <laughs> never, never usually dance anyway. If I go on a dance floor, I usually wobble, and that's about it. That's best you're going to get out of me. I can't even walk properly alone, dance. <laughs> Up, oh, that's it, relax then. Pull up. That's it. You can't physically teach someone rhythm and grace and elegance or something. You either got a natural rhythm or a natural, natural movement or you haven't. Most people have. <laughs> but he hasn't. <laughs> Break time. And time to choose a bra for the big night. I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Weird as fuck, mate. <laughs> I quite like them. <laughs> quite like the feel of them. Nice and pert, don't you think? Look at me feeling them. <laughs> They're getting aroused, though. Mm. <laughs> Get a semi love on me. Back at the hotel, the search for the woman within continues. I couldn't be a woman all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Just for a week, eh? Just for a week. Tickles him. Stay still, woman. <laughs> I'll look in the mirror tomorrow morning and go, ah, Who's that? <laughs> With my head on. <laughs> Chins up. Chins up. <laughs> Chins up. <laughs> and the other one. <laughs> I've still my pubes with these. So that's all right. The next beauty challenge is way below the belt. Oh. <laughs> I think the hardest thing he's probably going to find is having his legs waxed, because he's a wimp. It's like having a tattoo done about ten times worse. Lots of respect to the women for doing this, you know. Don't take your tattoo off me. I think Andy takes on any challenge head on, and I'm sure they're going to have to do some amazing waxing on him because he's the hairiest man ever. <laughs> waxing is one of the most painful, horrible experiences ever. <laughs> and I would quite like to see when James gets his legs waxed, just so he appreciates what we have to go through. <laughs> Kiss. Back at Funny Girls, the legs might be smooth, but the dancing is still rough. You gotta be quicker than that. And out of the blue, Simon takes drastic action. Now, just let, to let you know, uh, uh, Lee and Mark, you won't be doing the first section of the tap, OK? Now, I hope, I hope you're not too disappointed, but you will be used, obviously, again, i pull you out in other areas, OK? So you will be featured. So it all balances out in the end, so you all get your own piece, OK? So I want you to start. You've just done the revolve. I think you're there, Steve. Yeah. Yeah. Mark, aren't you? You're a big guy, I tell you. You scare me. Okay. Where else were you? Keep your positions. 
It's the sharp end of showbiz. Mark and Lee are axed from the first tap section. An unpopular decision. I mean, we practice at night, leave us as we were, because I had it off pat and I know where I'm going. Now I'm fucked. Mm. I'd like to do the tap. I've right. got to have you strong in the second half. I want you to concentrate on that, because as, as you know, as you did it just now, both you two, you were yeah. slightly... You weren't really with it, were you? I need to have you strong in that second section. Once you get that, then I put you back in the tap. Yeah, but no, you it's need... fine. We'll yeah. do the boss, whatever. Yeah, but uh, can you understand my reasoning yeah, yeah, yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Because you've got to be in together and in unison for that second section. And if you're not, uh, that's, that's going to look bad for me and bad for you. So I need you to learn that second section. Then we'll put you back in the tap if you get that second section right. But don't worry, we'll do that now. Oh, I think that's totally unfair. I want to do the tap. I thought I was doing really well with the tap. It's really done me head in, because now, where I knew, up, down, just ba -dub, back to the stage, drop cape, da 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 I now got to, you know, pull my boobs out and walk off stage, so I've just got to get all that into my head. OK? Yeah, that's on the track, yeah? Yeah, I was surprised that Mark and Lee yeah, were asked to step aside, but it does stand to reason, really, because they really, really have been struggling. So you do your tap there, so you've got to go... If it was me, I wouldn't be too happy about it, I don't think. From my point of view, it puts more pressure on us, the four that are left up there. In a group, you can hide a bit. But you sit the four of them and one of them cocks it up. That's a lot of pressure. I think he's, um, before with Mr Nice Guy, now he's putting his foot down a bit. He wants us um, to get moving. You've got to get tough with them. They think they've got it. They've got the sets. Oh, this is it. This is the routine. They don't know nothing yet. Dropping two from the tap has broken up the team. The lads regroup to help Mark and Lee with the second half of the show. The difference between being a drag queen and being a builder, you know, are completely the opposite end of the scales, as far as that goes. But while we're being here, we are actually still a group of builders together, so we're getting through it together in our own way. Like that. The fact that we are used to working as a team on a building site is uh, fundamentally helping us get through it. It's the final day of rehearsal. Five, six, we are Last one, night's practice has paid off. Two, three, four, Mark five, and Lee six, will still seven, miss the opening one, tap section, two, three, four, but are now good enough seven, to make the second eight, part one, of the show. Two, three, four, and roll. I think we've cracked it now. Just whether they can maintain it on the night, you know, keeping that concentration level up and, and performing. So just touch wood. The lads are going all out to come out as drag queens tomorrow night. The life of a butch builder seems a world away. My opinions have changed quite drastically about the whole gay scene. Before, obviously, we'd walk into a place and go, oh, look out, you know, you know, I'm not sure, it's just strange sort of thing. Now you just don't seem to worry about it. You know, just normal people at the end of the day. Gone. Bum, 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 ah! I thought they had preconceptions when they first arrived. They didn't know what to expect, really. Two, three, and four. Our lives might be a little bit more flamboyant and colourful than theirs, but at the end of the day, we're all men. And that's what they've come to accept. We're all men, but we're all different at the end of the day. And they, they're, they're now on our side of the fence, so to speak. Yeah, that finger up a little bit. <laughs> 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 Terrific guy, he really is. He's also very gay, and he knows that we know he is, and uh, and he knows that we're not. And he's he's quite we're quite comfortable with him, and he's comfortable with us, I think. Well, I hope he is. Oh, you are awful, but I like him. <laughs> <laughs> he's a friend, and he's he's gay, and I, su I suppose it is probably the first person um, I've become friends with that, that is gay. We are what we are. I've sort of come to accept that people are what they want to be, basically. And, uh, yeah, live and let live, I guess. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. The builders have been kept in the dark about what they'll be wearing tomorrow. Step in. Up in wardrobe, Andy and Dave are the first to find out. Step in. <laughs> now, come on, you've seen a leotard before. Yeah, just not on a body like that. <laughs> now, get your arms in there. <laughs> oh, wedgie on him. <laughs> 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 Downstairs, Simon gets his first look at his new girls. I tell you what, you guys are real special, and I'm really, really pleased, really pleased with what I've done, and you should be so proud of yourselves, really. Thanks All of you. Much, yeah. Really. <laughs> hey, come here. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's like a lesbian group there. <laughs> They are real well, men, all, all and you know, yeah. giving them a pep talk, in a cut, tears are coming, because they really have achieved something, and they, and they are proud of themselves as a group. It's amazing. Oh, you're so good. It's the day of the performance. After a week of hard labour, the builders are in makeup. The final step to becoming fully fledged drag queens. We're in. 200 miles away, 60 friends and family are on their way to the show, clueless of what to expect. I don't know how I'm going to react, I really do. I think James is probably going to be a blonde. Big boots, because you've got to match his big fat ass. He just might be that step closer to coming out now. Cause you're Same time next week, love. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you, you put your makeup on and the wig, that's when they look at themselves in the mirror and they don't recognise themselves. And they're probably fascinated as well with this face looking back at them. Fuck. Fuck am I doing, man? They found their feminine side and they're, and they're using that now to put into their new woman look. Bloody hell, this is unbelievable. And I've nurtured them through step by step help them to grow in what they're doing. I'm just pleased that they've got an end product and I know they're going to really enjoy it and that's, you know, it's a job well done then. In just one week, Simon has transformed six macho men into gorgeous divas. Soon, 2,000 people will see them in the gig of a lifetime. Camp Drag Queen is nearly over. One minute we've been laughing, one minute we've been up, next minute we've been down, one minute we've been struggling, next minute we've cracked it. Definitely one of the best weeks of my life, without a doubt, you know, it's been enthralling. All day when we've been rehearsing, we've had to act like a woman. You go down the bar in the evenings, you're like standing and you think, hang on a minute, I'm not rehearsing now, it's been normal. It's so completely opposite to what I do. Um, it's just been absolutely amazing. I think I will miss it, Mr. Buzz and Miss Simon and all the guys, and yeah, I think I'll miss it. Highest point, the lads. Greatest bunch of lads and individuals that I can call me colleagues and friends. They're, they're a great bunch. Six months ago, somebody had said to me, Dave, in six months' time, you're going to be a drag queen on a, on a stage in Blackpool. I had no chance. No chance. There's no way that I would do anything like that. Coming up, nerves kick in. Oh, my God, what am I doing here? As the builders prepare for the big night. Bring it on. Come on. Can these former hard men really convince us drag queens? Showtime, and it's a sellout. 
the lads nearest and dearest are there to watch the cabaret begin. The builders are the grand finale, and stage fright is setting in. I've heard the, um, the, the cheers and the claps and the whistles when um, some of the sets have been finished, and it's been, and you feel your heart start to go, and you think, oh my God, what am I doing here, you know? Do you know, I'm feeling so nervous for Andy right now. I really, really am. I can't sit still, man. Bring it on, come on! Oh, it's the moment of truth for our builders in drag. How are you feeling? Nervous? Very nervous? Yeah. Oh, it'll be fine. They're cracking all the They're nice and friendly. Yeah. Yeah. So, come on. Thanks, man. Last time. Hands in. Come on. Come on. Go out there and let's go. Kick ass! Yeah. Yeah. Good evening! Yeah. You having a good night? Yeah. You are in for a treat, believe me.
That's how it was. <laughs> um, amazing. I haven't had a buzz like that ever. I don't think I ever will. I can't even. I'm not I'm just a fit bricky, mate. I don't even know how to put in the words. If I speak too long, it's going to bore me eyes out. It's just mate. unbelievable. The best mate. <clears throat> what they did was brilliant. To learn to do that in you know those few days that they had was amazing. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. I mean, my heart was going to dun, 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 quicker than the tap steps, I'll tell you. It's quite a lump, isn't it? Yeah. Amazing. See the game last night? Yeah, uh, fucking two now, wasn't it? <laughs> they went out there and they rocked the place. They went out there and they went for it. Some of them really come out of their shells and they were performing to the hilt. It didn't matter about the choreography by then, it was all about what they'd learned and all that, and they were entertaining people, and it was just electric. You can't pay money for it, and any, there's no substitution for it, there's nothing that's anywhere near it, it's just one of those special things that, uh, I don't know what to say, you just can't buy, you can't buy feelings like that, it's just absolutely fantastic. Amazing in one week what they've achieved, especially from where they come from. You're amazing. Oh, yeah. I don't want to do it myself next week. Can I come play with you? <laughs> <laughs> I really, I like, take my hat off to you guys. Yeah. You're, you're so special. You really are amazing. <laughs> Three cheers for the lad. Say, Pip. Fantastic. Now, next week, six champagne-twilling London lawyers saddle up to live out their childhood dreams by becoming cowboys in the wild west of Texas. A real-life city slickers for one night only next Monday. And next tonight, it, in its new time slot for the duration of the World Cup, it's Emmerdale. <laughs>